in a society where the person's worth and importance are attached to his title and status in life, today's gospel is a gentle reminder of a greater responsibility that goes with it rather than thinking of it as a privilege. Hello, sisters and brothers. May God's peace be with you and your family. I'm Sister Rejoy for today's Gospel Power. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore, do whatever they teach you and follow it, but do not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on the shoulders of others, but they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their preaches long. They love to have the place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues, and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces, with respect in the marketplaces, and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all students. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. It is easy to see why the scribes and Pharisees love being addressed as rabbi. Although conventionally the title has come to be understood as teacher, of which the literal meaning is my great one or my master. And so to call somebody rabbi is to acknowledge the person's exalted status. And this sort of ego enhancement is what these religious leaders yearn for. Jesus forbids his disciples from ever using that title to address one another. Only God deserves to be addressed as such, whether the meaning intended is my great one or teacher. The Old Testament portrays God as the ultimate teacher, for God is the essential truth. Interestingly, despite Jesus' prohibition of using the title rabbi, one of his disciples, his betrayer, addressed him with this title twice in Matthew's Passion Narrative. However, the address had an ironic twist, for though Judas called Jesus my great one, he nevertheless exchanged him for a cheap amount of 30 pieces of silver. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, deliver us from the peril of being attached to titles while neglecting the duty that those titles entail. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. 
All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever.